Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm oh, fine. And you? All right. Good. Ready to start. An another challenge. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> Okay, how's your work? Very busy? Uh, kind of busy. I went to Santa Ana. Okay. We we went to visit the uh, Santa Ana Hospital. And we had some, some meetings there. And we, we got back uh, until... Three four o'clock. Wow! So I have to then I have I had to drive home, and you, know, it's it's uh and it's been um a hot day. Okay, <clears throat> how far do you do you live from your from from your work? Uh, re, uh I think yeah, um. I am like twenty minutes away from from work oh, without okay. traffic. Without, because okay. I live uh ten minutes uh before uh Puerto de la Libertad. Ah, okay. Uh huh. So yeah, the traffic is sometimes is heavy. Yeah. yeah, the traffic is heavy every day. I have to. I have to. Uh, wake up at four thirty a.m. I mm -hmm. have to be out of my house. Uh, no more than than six. Five. Six. No, no more than six. Uh -huh. okay. So I try to 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 be out at uh, five forty-five. Yes. Yeah. Well, well, I I gotta do something similar to that. I live mm -hmm. on the other side, you know, on the light side of uh, Lourdes. Oh. So if if I want to get wherever I want early, I have to leave the latest five five a.m. Yeah, I know. Yeah. If, if if I leave after that, well, nowadays because it's, there is no uh, no school, right? So then since mm -hmm. there is no school, then the traffic is is mild. It's not so wild, and then uh. Then I can, I mean, it's, I can easily drive as long as there is no a, a car, a broken car in the middle of the road, <laughs> because that's the problem, right? Mm -hmm. No, because if there is no, if everything flows normally, uh, thirty minutes, you know, you can be there in San Salvador or Santa Tecla, but if there is a broken bus or a truck or a trailer or a car. Mm -hmm. Then that you know that generates a a big mess, a big traffic jam. Oh, yeah. And but, they, when you you when you get back to to uh to your house, it's similar, I think. It's similar, <laughs> or yeah. well, actually, it is worse. Uh huh. Because in the morning oh. when I leave, yeah, because when I leave early, uh, there is no traffic, right? So mm -hmm. then I can. Unless there is a problem, but in the afternoon, everybody is coming up, is coming back, mm -hmm. and then if there is an accident, is I mean, it's chaos. If yeah. there is no accident, it's just uh, traffic. Easily, I can spend one hour, you know, from La Gran Villa to to uh, to my house easily. Mm -hmm. So it's a uh, yes, it's it's heavy. The traffic is heavy, but yeah. uh, you know that's the that's the way it is, you know. <laughs> there is no much we can do, um, mm -hmm. unless mm -hmm. we had a a very nice, you no know, transportation, public transportation service would be great. You know, yeah. I, I would be more than glad enough to to go by mm -hmm. bus if we had a a nice Ooh. service, but it, it would be cheaper. Uh, we will rest more, mm -hmm. probably because you don't have to drive, you don't have to be tense. 
No, there are many things, but we are far away from, from that reality. <laughs> yeah. At least enough for a couple uh, of years. Sometimes I I feel like when I get my my, my work, I'm I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, okay. early in the morning. Yeah. As soon as you, yeah, it's true. First, you know, because probably we didn't sleep well, then the stress, then traffic. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Well, good. The good thing is that you are a doctor and then you can uh, diagnose yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what pills to take, right? <laughs> okay. You know the treatment. That's good. Yeah. All right. Great. I, I have to. I yeah, have you to. have to, actually. Yeah. There, is, there is no way out. Yeah. Okay, good. What about the rest? The rest are back. Oscar. Hello, Oscar. How are you today? Oh, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. All How right. are you? I'm doing great. I'm just um, having fun as usual at school. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary. So I think everything is the the same activities, same routine, but you know, with different actors. You know, schools are like that, right? You know, one day oh. one student misbehaves, the next day he behaves perfectly, and but there is another one, and then uh, so it's the same thing, but with a different person. But it's all right. I mean, it's nothing, nothing really serious. All right. Good. All right. Nice. What kind of music do you like? Oh, uh, well, I'll actually I like all kinds. Uh, kind of I don't mostly maybe pop music from the seventies, eighties, nineties, okay, and some some pop music that we have in this last decade too. Um, uh, Spanish. Maybe a uh, that's similar, you no know, kind of pop music too. Uh, I also like rancheras and boleros. Uh, so I think uh, Mexican Mexican music, you know, it's salsa too. So actually, I like I don't have a real preference, you know, like a fav favorite favorite, uh, let's say, singer. But there are, but I like many singers. For example, the one probably of the of the youngest is uh what's the name of this guy? Uh Bruno Mars. You know, ah, nice, nice music. It reminds me of Cool in the Gun from the 80s. You no, know, it was oh. very, it's a very similar kind of music. And I mean, just like that. Very pleasing. He, he got a very pleasing voice to listen uh -huh, to. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes not the like if you were listening to Michael Jackson too, yes, he's, ah, and he dances. Right, right. Yeah, he, he dances. I think he's, you know, he's uh, he's a good singer. He's a good singer too. He's, he's a good performer also. Exactly, that's right. correct. Yeah, he has some very nice video clips. So I think it's 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 good one. How about you? I'm in my case. Uh, uh, I like you know a little bit of everything. Uh, with regards to music, but uh, I have a special genre which is the smooth jazz uh, music. Oh. You know, uh, what what we like is uh, what I would like is to uh, to have the uh, economic uh, capacity within the recent future to to buy, uh, let's say, an old-fashioned high, uh, let's say, high-end audio equipment. Uh -huh. I mean, from the from the from the 90s or from from the 80s, but in good conditions to, uh -huh. to play. It play the, the, the music right there so i think that there's nothing better to get home than to sit back and relax and play that kind of music for yeah definitely you know, to feel your 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 soul yeah you know that i guess that from uh when you talk about jazz is the the saxophone i think is the, ah. what makes the jazz sound Special. like like yes like it sounds right yes uh, i think that Jazz without saxophone is, is not jazz. <laughs> okay. Uh, that wouldn't but, be nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's great. I mean, people, I, I have a friend. Well, I had a friend. I hadn't seen him in a long time. He left the country. And I lost track of his of his activities. But he used to play the saxophone very, very well. 
And I remember that he used we used to get together with other friends and they I, I don't play any instruments, musical instruments, but he did. They did. So it was very nice you know, to listen to those guys. You know, live music it was great. But uh cool. yeah, just just as another one it's, it's really great music to listen to. Just just imagine a really quick comment, just imagine a for example, to uh -huh. to get a full core within a, a commercial, uh, let's say, mall, and then to 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 purchase your food, then to uh, sit and start to eat, then uh, you have a a group uh, uh, playing music uh, live. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what would you feel with, with this combination? Is, is that okay with you? Yeah, re yeah, relaxing is uh, maybe you know it will give you probably a a topic to to talk about, you know, because you can just you uh -huh. can start talking about this uh, kind of music. So I think it's inspiring sometimes. But but if you like it, of course, right? If you don't, uh, yeah, maybe yeah. you know you won't feel anything. Just oh, nice music. Uh, yeah, but yeah. if you like it, if you get inspired, so you can also inspire the person who's talking to you. So you know, if I uh -huh. that's that's probably not what I will do. But I think it's uh yeah, it's an interesting kind of music. Very interesting. So some people I think that uh may may found it um uh, may find it uh, boring, you know. Oh yeah. To, yeah, that that's okay. <laughs> yes, I mean actually, you know, that's why we have many kinds of music, right? <laughs> you know, uh for example, you know, there are sometimes I pay attention not to the not to the lyrics, you know. I like to follow the the rhythm, right? The rhythm that when they are a group, band, or a singer is they are playing something. I don't usually play pay attention to the to the lyrics because I think uh, it's um, sometimes all the lyrics have something that people won't like, right? So, but you know, but I like to listen to the to the rhythm, right? When I follow the rhythm, if it is something that I like, it's okay. Okay, so oh, then yeah. that's why there are some uh, there are some uh, salsa, for example, salsa is very sensual, but there are some salsa that is also kind of clean, right? That is, it's not that it doesn't have you know that uh, that tendency, right? There are some kinds of music that have a tendency, but there are some singers that try not to do it in that way, and then that's the kind of music you enjoy. So that's why. Hey, how, uh, do you, how do you say? How do you say this? Did you, when a group plays uh, uh, live music, is, is that okay? When you live music? Play a what? Uh, when they play uh, live music, I mean the group is, is in there. Uh -huh. A live, live music. A live, ah, live, live music. Live, live, yes. Live oh, concert. Okay. Live concert, right. yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That's correct. Okay, good. Uh, I think I share with you today a document, right, about the uh, model auxiliaries. You know, there are some tips there, how to use, when to use them. Okay, so I think it's a, uh, you, you have to read that uh, uh, document slowly, you know, because there is a lot of information. And... And the information that you have there is not only to, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you will understand, right? But uh, the main point of that document is not only to understand the, the information, but also to take it to the practice, right? And then when you take it to the practice, then you make it yours, and then you can incorporate it in your everyday um, uh, language when you are using it, okay? When you want to stress, opinions, when you want to give advice, when you want to express a regret, okay? Then, uh, for example, if uh, if I had known uh, that traffic uh, was going to change so much, okay, in this area where I live 10 years ago, I would have, I would have found uh, maybe uh, a job near this area okay what i would have uh i wouldn't have come to live here maybe. okay i would have lived somewhere else so you know these are regrets or things that sometimes 
it's not that we really feel it. It's just that some it's a regret. They say, okay, if I had not this, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't have done it. But we never know, right? For example, if I said, um, uh, if I hadn't been a teacher, I would have been uh, an engineer. I don't know. Okay, it's difficult to know exactly because uh, if I have been teaching for more than 30 years, I don't know if, uh, I mean, it's because I liked it, right? So it's because I I enjoy what I do. And then probably that's, this was my, let's say, uh, my call, right? Like they said, it was my call. And this is, no, this is what I do. So then sometimes we regret just because we need to release some feelings. Okay. But now I'm going to play back this video just in case one of you was not here yesterday. And then we can, uh, if you have any questions, we can practice with some sentences as well. As an advice, don't go as we are sure this is gonna be useful for you. Past modals for opinions and advice giving opinions you should have called her on the phone she shouldn't have kept your notes this long giving advice you could have been more understanding i would have borrowed someone else's notes i wouldn't have lent them to her giving opinions when giving opinions we may use should have or shouldn't have when giving opinions we may use I wouldn't have lent them to her. Okay, so these opinions, it depends on uh, who you're talking to, right? When you say you should have called her on the phone, it, you need some time if you see in the sentences um, a context, right? You need a context because if you say you should have called her on the phone, who, right? For example, that suppose that a, you know, uh, Maritza won a prize today, but uh, she didn't know because she left the office early. Okay. And, but nobody called her and I think that she doesn't know it. And then the person can say, hey, we should have called her on the phone and tell her that she won the prize, right? So in that case, you are giving an opinion and also a kind of advice of uh, to the person what he should have done, but he or she didn't do it. The same with the next one, we say, she shouldn't have kept your notes this long. <clears throat> okay, this is for example, you know, when somebody retains something, right? It's something that you, uh, she shouldn't have kept your notes this long, it's probably that she was holding something, uh, she didn't turn it in, or for example, when you have a report and you have finished it, but your boss doesn't ask for it, but you also don't give it to him, right? And then uh, the day probably before that he needs it, and then uh, you give it to him. And then just because you didn't want to give it before, and then somebody could say, hey, you shouldn't have kept that report too long or this long okay you should have given him before now he's in trouble to you know to present it to the to the board of directors or whatever okay so in that in those contexts right you need to know what you're talking about before you give an up before we give an opinion or an advice okay so the sent the structure is this but remember that we don't give opinions we don't give advice unless we know what we are talking about, all right? You could have been more understanding, probably a person who was too rude to another person or impatient. I would have borrowed someone else's notes. Probably you borrow the notes to the wrong person or to somebody who had the notes incomplete, okay? And I wouldn't have lent them to her, probably talking about the notes, okay, something that you wouldn't have done. I would have done something else. 
giving opinions. When giving opinions, we may use should have or shouldn't have. I will give you two sentences. You should have called her. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. In the example, you should have called her, Molly is giving an opinion. She thinks Michi was wrong to send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a wouldn't have sent so many messages. Okay, in this case, there is another complement with a conditional that you could say, if I were you, I wouldn't have sent so many messages. That's what it says, you know, that is hypothetical, right? So it means that if, uh, but obviously, as I am not you, okay, you say, I wouldn't have sent. When you say, uh, I I quit my job and then uh, because I was tired of uh, let's say of uh, getting up getting up early and then said well I wouldn't have quit my job so that means if I were you I wouldn't have done that unless I already had another job okay but a better job or a job closer to my house, okay? Then uh, you can give some other ideas, right? So this is, you know, giving that advice. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. Situation. There has been a misunderstanding. You would have done things differently. Yes, see, here, as you can see, the lady is giving us a situation in order to create sentences or to give opinions or advice. So obviously we need to have that context. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a workmate. Type in an opinion as well as an advice using past models. Okay, but even that, you know, the misunderstanding. Let's say here, past models. And then, uh, for example, if there is a misunderstanding, I, sh I should I should have oh, the pronunciation, remember, it should have. You can say should have. Okay, but you can, people usually use should I. Okay, so then you can say, uh, I should have talk. Then you have to use the past participle there to my uh, supervisor. about okay that uh that problem that issue okay so this one could be you know my opinion about it so i had a misunderstanding 
uh, with one of my coworkers, X reason, right? Uh, he thinks I didn't want to help him, or he thinks I was talking on his on his or her back, and then, uh, but I didn't do anything. I just didn't care, and now the problem is, uh, let's say, uh, bigger. So I should have talked to my supervisor about that problem. I should have explained my coworker that I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, I should have uh, apologized to my coworker if he thought that I had done something wrong. Okay, tell me or write sentences in the chat if you want to do it verbally. Uh, tell me some uh, uh, ideas like this. And and then uh, we can probably you know interact. Just give me a an idea about how you see this situation. Okay, imagine you have there is a misunderstanding. What sentence will you use? I would. I could. send emails. Molly shouldn't have kept your notes. Michi is giving an opinion. She thinks Molly was wrong to keep the notes. This is the rule. Subject plus should, not plus have plus participle. When giving advice, we may use would have or could have. Yes, Ivan, that's correct. I will explain the meaning of would have like this. I wouldn't have sent so many messages. Molly is imagining this hypothetical situation happening to her and saying she would have done things differently. This is the situation. There has been a misunderstanding about you at work with a work mate. Type in an opinion. Okay, yes, you should. You should have, right? Don't remember, you shouldn't have eaten. Okay, you shouldn't. This is a construction. Or you can say should not, no problem. Or contract it, you shouldn't. But we have to use have and then the past participle of the verb. Always, right? Shouldn't have it. Uh, I should have recommended returning the product. Very good. Okay, I should. Then we use have. And then the verb in past participle. I recommend it. Okay, I should have recommended. Okay, returning the product. This is a good one, right? What else? I should have bought the shoes last weekend because now they are more expensive. Perfect. Yes, that's mm -hmm. a good example too. Yes. I could have told him before the, he realized it from other people, yes. Before somebody else tell him, right, Joanny? Okay. I could have told him before. Okay, oh, uh, he found it. He found it out. Okay, he heard about it from somebody else. That could be another way. Good. You should have watched the move the movie, right? Movie last night. Yes, Jose, that's a good one. Okay. Okay, the movie. And here we can see some other examples. You can continue writing in the chat if you want. And we can also see the, the exercise here in the platform. Okay, that reads, complete the conversation using past models with the verbs given. You may choose could have, would have, should have, or it's negatives. You uh, do not need to type everything, only the past model with the verbs 
in its correct form. Okay, who wants to read the first one? I invited. Has to be a lady. I invited my boyfriend over to meet my parents, but he arrived wearing torn jeans. He looked so messy. Well, he could have dressed neatly. He could have dressed. Dressed. Okay, we don't need, it says that we don't need to write all the sentence, right? Just the, the model, the auxiliary, the auxiliary verb and the past participle. Okay, what about the next one? Me, teacher. I Go would have asked him to wear something nicer. Would have asked. Okay, asked him. Okay. Let's see. How about the next one? John Barrow. I have a quick question, teacher. Do we need to read a complete sentence or yes, we need to give the answer? Uh no, just read the sentence. No, read the sentence so that you know practice. Oh, wonderful. And mm -hmm. then I, I get the part that you when you mentioned it. Okay, oh uh, let me see. Um John borrowed my car and it did. Uh, how do you pronounce that word? Dented it. Dented it. Dented it. Dented it. Mm -hmm. Okay. When he returned it, he didn't even say anything. Oh, but I'm not able to see the rest, teacher. Uh... Oh, my bad. Goodness. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. <Don't. laughs> now it's better. Mm. He should have told. He should have told you. He should okay should then we're gonna use only should have told yeah, should have told yes have doubt. have doubt about this one uh -huh. I, I mean that doesn't make sense if at the end says he should have told you it would have been better to say he should have told me okay uh, here for example john borrowed my car because now uh, because A is John and B is the other person. So B is telling A. Uh -huh. Yeah. So John, okay, John, but suppose this is you are uh, this person, and then you're telling okay, imagine you are Oscar telling me. Okay, that Giovanni, you say, Giovanni borrowed my car and dented it. When he returned it, he didn't even say anything about it. Then I tell you, oh, he should have told you. Yes, oh. makes sense. So okay. uh, the person in the letter A is not mentioned the name, okay? But this is a third person. And in this oh. case, letter B okay. is, okay, is okay. me. Talking also about John. Yep. Okay. okay. There are two persons. Okay. I uh -huh. didn't get that part. But no, no, but that's okay. No problem. Good. What about the other one? Well, who wants to Mr. read that one? Go ahead. Well, I wouldn't have learned it to him in the first place. He's a terrible driver. I would not, right? I wouldn't. Okay, uh huh. Why wouldn't I don't know if it will accept the contraction or not, but lend. Okay, I would I wouldn't have. Okay, lend. Okay, for example, a uh, it's easy to notice when we make a mistake. Okay, for example, you know when I wrote this, I wrote it here, and I noticed not because of the red uh, mark. I notice because you know always when we use would, we use the base form of the verb. Okay, we never use would plus a past tense or a past participle, right? So then this will also help you to identify mistakes. Be careful with these boxes because in these boxes, if you have if you give a an extra space, 
your sentence may be correct, but it, uh, it will mark it as if you are wrong. Okay, who wants to tell me number three? Me. Okay, me. Sara. I I am X. Yes. Huh? So, did Mary came over? She shouldn't have late. She shouldn't have stayed. Yes. I, I, I only have to use shouldn't. Okay, I'm going to use now the contraction. Okay, she shouldn't have stayed. Good. Thank you, Sara. Okay, continue with the number three. What would be the letter B? <laughs> this is a nice tip. Okay, teacher. Uh, actually, I did it. Nevertheless, I don't know why it's wrong, but I guess, and this is okay. for me, it's from my point of view, right? <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. From my point of view is, um, you should have started. Maybe she would have gotten the hint. Yeah. It, I mean, actually, I would use that one too. And I think it's also because it's a, like an advice. Should is also... Uh, even as a bite, but in the I think in the yeah. video they also use could and would for advice. Yes, teacher, I have um, put that answer and it's wrong. I then I put all the answer yeah. possible and I think this is the right answer, but uh -huh. it's it's wrong in the platform. Yeah, same okay. for me, teacher. I should, no, I mean, and I would use that one too. That's what, you know, I would do it too. Okay, so then let's write could because they use in the video could have or would have. Uh, you could have started. Okay, it started. And then at the end, I'm going to show you the, we're going to see the answers. Okay, and then we will know. Okay, number four. Me teacher. Okay, go ahead. Carla. Tom invited me to a play, but I ended up paying for us both. I wouldn't have paid for him. I wouldn't have paid. Okay, wouldn't have paid. For him. Okay, how about here? We don't need to only up to here. Wouldn't or shouldn't? Wouldn't. Okay. And the last one? He shouldn't have invited you if he was short of money. Okay. You didn't have invited. He shouldn't have invited. Yeah, that one. You, if you were sure of money. Okay, here are the possible answers. Okay, this one, yes, shouldn't have. Uh, wouldn't have paid. Okay, should have started. Okay. There is a mistake, people. Mm -hmm. uh, silly mistake. It, uh -huh. In the answers, they included also the verb joining. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But it was an exception, maybe because ah, they. No, said, no, no, it's know. not. A, I think uh, you don't have to, because this is not, this is not part of the, cons of the, grammar construction of the past models okay, okay. after started you can use the because you, you should have started uh joining is just the other action right that you have to do but it's not part of this 
construction. That's why uh, it's not an exception. It's just that they use it that way. Okay, now if you see now, that's the only correct one. Can you believe? And you can see, uh, okay. Shouldn't maybe. Oh, look at this is another thing. Form. Look yes. at my look at my apostrophe. And look at the, the apostrophe. Last one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the problem. Okay. That's this is the problem sometimes with this uh platform. That is they this very strict at the moment of uh a check-in. Let me see if I copy from here. Teacher, I, I have a question regarding that. And I uh -huh. was wondering about how I may first do it, right? Because <laughs> in every single situation, I don't know if it's my keyboard or something like that. Uh -huh. I'm not able to find that specific sign. And that's why <laughs> I look for a word that includes the apostrophe and I try to copy past. Uh -huh. that's yes, that that's, I do. <laughs> look, that's what I did in this moment. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, now it, lo it looks good. Then if I say, if you see wooden, I am having the same issue. And then what I do here is copy. And then I paste it here. And then now it's okay. Right. But it's because the sentence itself is correct okay the only problem is the apostrophe which is just a technical issue right so shooting is the same case here oh and, and in this case also that they added joan right because if i omit joan it would be wrong okay so if I add it again, uh, let me see. I don't, because I don't have another. Let me see if I have another kind of apostrophe. There's missing a D. Oh yeah. Thank you. Trying to find, but I don't have another. Oh, it's gonna be the same. So probably in this case, if you already have one here and you don't have the answer, what you can go is copy this part. Obviously, sometimes it's going to be difficult for you to know if, but if everything is all right, and you try with these changes, I'm just trying. No, it doesn't let me to. It's more complicated to do this, but there we go. Yeah, and definitely. Then... Sometimes I'm a struggle thinking about what's the mistake. It's a grammar or it's a platform. <laughs> uh -huh. Rio, for example, you know, that's why I wrote also would not. Okay, so this one is correct, right? But since I did not use the contracted form, okay, it's telling me that it is wrong, okay? But if you say I would not have learned, I mean, in grammar, speaking, and writing is correct. And the only thing is that the, in this kind of exam, this is similar to Google Forms that you have to write many different options uh, because, you know, people will think in a different way. Okay. But then these are the correct answers. Okay, wouldn't have left. Should have told. Uh, would have asked. And could have rest. 
Okay, apart from the apostrophe, any other question? So we're clear with the model, uh, past models to give opinions, right? To give an advice, okay? What you should do, what you could do. There are- yes, a, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh no, just I was going to say it's something in addition that we need to be oh, careful about something. Cause as you said, uh, in the video, they say that for advice in this situation, they invite us to use would and could. Mm -hmm. But if you can see in the answer, the right answer includes shit. And it's mm -hmm. totally the opposite to the things that, that the video said, right? Exactly, correct. Right. Yes, we need to take care about that. And we try to verify it with different answer in, yes. in some occasions. And that's why, you know, that's the good thing about the, the discussion, right? Because when you have the doubts, it's good that, uh, that you always, if you have the question, you can ask. We can discuss it here. And then we can find the best answer okay and like you said right different sources of information are always good okay that's what uh, that's what i also sent you the other material because they also give you extra information that is not here right and well here is also because of the time and then uh but it's always good to have the information in advance okay well, make sure you copy the correct answers that you have the possible solutions to some issues that you may find in the uh, on the platform. Okay, and then Okay, this is vocabulary for reactions. How would you react? Share with us, how do you react when someone forgets your birthday? Learn the following nouns for discussing reactions. An assumption, a criticism, a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, a suspicion, a warning. So do you jump to conclusions? What happens when he or she doesn't answer your call? Type your assumption with suspicion, a warning. Okay, an assumption is like if you do it again, right? If you do it again, you will have to find a new girlfriend. Uh, what are we assuming, right? Probably it's a that warning. Uh -huh, also that like she said more like a warning too, right? Yes, criticism. Which one will you use? You say, for example, I bet you were out with another woman. Okay, this is very jealousy. Uh, you can be so inconsiderate. Okay, like demanding to be more considered. An excuse, you'll probably forget our anniversary too. Mm -hmm. And now you have to take me out to dinner twice. Okay, this is a demand, right? You must have wanted to break up with me. Okay, that one would be. This could be the assumption. And you know you ought to buy me flowers. This one would be a suggestion. And it's okay. You must feel really sorry. Okay, that could be a suspicion, maybe. Okay, so then this is, for example, reactions. How do you react when you know that somebody 
no boyfriend, no girlfriend, no husband, no wife, any person is lying to you. It's not telling you the truth. I am react. Um, I'm feeling so angry. Angry, right? So then, angry, um, angry. yes, you're angry. And then what do you tell the person? What would you tell a person who has been lying to you? If you do again, you have to find a new friend. Okay, so you will give up that person a warning. Warm. A warning. Right? A warning, okay. So you see, first, your reaction is to feel betrayed, angry, mad, okay, maybe sad, okay, different. Uh, when you have a cocktail of feelings, you can say that you are feeling, for example, upset. Okay, you feel upset because you have a mixed of feelings, right? And then after that, it comes a reaction with a sentence. You say, okay, if you do that again, if you do that again, you you will have to find another friend, or I will not talk to you anymore. Okay or I will completely forget about our friendship. So then you are warning that person. Okay, now let's listen to the end. So do you jump to conclusions? What happens when he or she doesn't answer your call? Type your assumption, we won't tell them. <laughs> Keep on watching these videos. They give you a preview of what this section will be about. This one, this is Revelations right here on WERF. And now, people all over the world can download it too, which is so cool. Share with us, how do you react when... Okay, this one. Listen to the end. And yeah, listen to the situation. A warning. So, do you jump to conclusions? What happens when he or she doesn't answer your call? Type your assumption. We won't tell them. Okay. Why does she say? Share with us how type, do you react when someone. Type your assumption. Who can explain that? Why does she say? Type your assumption. Why why does she use the word assumption? What happens when when we are in a situation which is not common, like the case of uh, the guy who lied to you, probably the when unfortunately uh, we park our car in a street, they open the car and they steal uh, something that we had in the car or maybe uh, we realize that a friend of ours was cheating on a test on an exam or one of our friends probably left the country because he didn't want to pay the bank a, a, a credit maybe teacher this is a suspicious situation mm -hmm. and then Okay, after we have, okay, you say that's very suspicious. And then mm -hmm. what is the next step? What follows after that? That's good. 
After that, normally, what do we do? Remember, these are human reactions, normal reactions that we have. Get to research. Uh-huh. But before that, Oscar? Before research. Uh-huh. Ah, before... <laughs> oh, man. Maybe a deception, teacher. Maybe a deception. Ah, uh, my visitor, my visitor here. Okay. Um. Uh, no, we have, for example, the the first reaction is that we are mad, we are angry, whatever. Then we think, okay, but that's suspicious. Okay, and after that, we think that something is suspicious. We we get worried about it. But why? I get worried if I see some suspicious and I go to research or. or Listen, remember, uh, remember what you said in the video. A warning. So, do you jump to conclusions? What? Okay, jump to conclusions. What is jump to conclusions? Okay, I'm gonna give you one situation only. Suppose that we all, we all in this group, have a friend in common. Okay, our friend in common, we discover that he left to any country last week. And then we know that he owed the bank $10,000 and he couldn't pay. Okay. So then that's what we know. Then after that, then when he says here, when we know, hey, you know, uh, Robert, left the country and then we are oh yeah really that's suspicious he never said he wanted to leave the country okay and then we start jumping to conclusions okay we start making our own conclusions what happens when he or she doesn't answer your call type your assumption we won't tell them okay so then we start I don't know, teacher, but I guess that we start to think in behalf of him. We start to do things in our position. If I were him, mm -hmm. I have done this, 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 and this, and this. Okay, or this has been done because of this. So then we start assuming see, uh, ideas or things that we are not really sure about. So then this is, you know, like we see it from our perspective, from our point of view. Okay, so this is, and then we begin, oh, okay, uh, maybe... Uh, his wife didn't want to help him to pay or maybe uh, he he had lost his job or maybe he was fired okay so then we start giving you know this is jumping to conclusions because we really don't know what happened okay so this is for example when they say okay <clears throat> in this one she's talking about a, a man or oh, it could be a girl too what happens when he or she doesn't answer your call? Type your okay. For example, this is in this case, Umara, when you say, "What happened if you call your your son, your husband, your boyfriend, or your father, or somebody close to your family, and the person does not answer?" You said it before. Maybe. Uh... Uh, maybe he, uh, he is um, far away from the phone. Okay, that could be right. A logical conclusion, but you are assuming. Uh -huh. Okay, what else? I will what think mm -hmm. in the right way. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're free to do that. You are free. Okay, no problem. Uh, let me see, Carla. I will be. Worry. 
Okay, you will be worried. Good. And then you will think what? Or you will assume what? What will, you, will be your assumption? Maybe he's sick, for example. Oh, okay, that's nice. Okay, very nice. And Catherine? What would you think? Or Melissa? Which one, sir? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I, I didn't know that I had the microphone on. Oh, okay. Mic on, no Probably problem. He, he didn't oh. uh, answer, answer the phone, right? Yes. Uh, he may have uh, had his uh, cell phone uh, run out of battery. Hey, thank you, self. Uh, his cell phone must have ran out of battery. Okay, that's a good one too. And it could, and it's a fact. Teacher. Tell me. Maybe think, uh, maybe uh, made a suspicion. <laughs> he is busy with another person, maybe. Okay, would. Well, it could <laughs> happen, you never know. Yeah. So, uh, if he's maybe. a teacher, yes, if he's a teacher, probably he's teaching to other people, okay? If it, <laughs> if it is a, uh, what, a mechanic, He's helping other persons, right? And with that. Okay, good. Now, Okay, yeah, Th those could be some some uh, reasons, right? Okay, remember these are assumptions when something is suspicious. So we start warning people. Okay, then you can then after that you can use warnings, right? Hey, listen, if I call you again, for example, this is what I tell my my son. If I call you again and you don't answer, uh, then I will uh, not let you go out after this time. Or I will take or uh, I will uh, confiscate your cell phone. So, you know, you start giving warnings, right? So what other people uh, could do, it depends on your reaction. Okay, if it is something suspicious. Share with us. All right. Then, uh, Giovanni, what would you do if, uh, let's say, uh, person close to you a uh, calls you at night and then when you pick up the phone there is a lost call then you call back and that person does not reply what would you think what would you feel well actually uh the first thing that comes to my mind that will be that something it's happened and I will be worried about the situation and I will try okay. to call him or her the many times as necessary to to post to be possible until the people or until the person in this situation answer my call to verify what's going on. Nevertheless, I guess that if this is in the situation that I have, for example, two or more calls. Nevertheless, if I try to call the first time and he or her doesn't answer, I assume that probably something went wrong. Probably uh, by mistake, he called me. Okay, that could be also, right? 
it, and it happens sometimes, you know, that you get a lost call and then you are you get worried, start calling and calling, and at the end, oh no, it was you know a mistake. Um, I didn't realize maybe I call you and then I was just a lost call, right? And then ah, uh, so then, but that happens too. Okay, good. So then, uh, to have this one, you have if you do that again, you have to find a new girl. Look at this. An assumption. This was a warning we said, right? That's what Sumara told me, I guess. Okay, what's the number two? I bet you were out with another woman. Assumption, criticism, demand, excuse, prediction, suggestion. I forget, uh, suspicion. Suspicion. Okay, I bet. Uh, you can be so inconsiderate. A criticize. Criticism. Criticism, sorry. Yes, criticism. Good. You will probably forget our anniversary too. A prediction. Prediction. <laughs> prediction. Prediction. Well, happens. Now you have to take me out dinner twice. I demand. I demand. I demand. You must have wanted to break up with me. An assumption. an assumption, yes, an assumption. You know, you ought to buy me flowers. A suggestion. A suggestion. A suggestion. And it's okay, you must feel really sorry. An excuse. An excuse. An excuse. Where is this an excuse? Okay, here. Okay, there you go. And then you have all the feelings and reactions. Okay, then uh, for tomorrow we're going to have uh, this reading and then we have also the, I think you already finished the, the test, the midterm test. No? Tomorrow we can do it. If you haven't done it, we can check it. Okay, uh, because that's the next, uh, the next one is the, Yes, we have a listening. Tomorrow we're going to do the, the quiz, right? This is the midterm exam so that we can check some of your answers and so that you can present it, right? Okay, so just let me go quickly through the the attendance. So we have uh, Francisco Calderon is here. Present teacher. Yes, Giovanni is here too. Hector Ivan, yes. Present teacher. And Ivan Ibrahim is here too, yep. Yeah. Uh, Jose Emanuel, Joel Emanuel, right? Joel, Joel, yes. Yeah. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. Yes, you are. Joselino. Oh, Joselino is the one. Oh, yes, here you are. Joselino. Julio Cesar is here too. 
Carla, Selena here. Yes. Carla Rene too. Catherine. Catherine, Catherine. I think, yes, I saw it, right? Catherine. Uh, Luis Eduardo Mendez. Luis. Present teacher. Yes, you are Luis. Mendez. No, Marlene. Marlene Elizabeth. Present teacher. Okay, then we have Melissa. Present. Then we have Michelle. Michelle. And... No, Michelle, I think she quit. Present. Yes. Michelle, you here? Present. Ah, yes. Okay, good. Then Neftali. Present teacher. Yes, we here. Oscar Alexander. Then Oscar Dulio, yes. Here. Romeo Vladimir. Romeo. No. Sara, yes. Sara Elizabeth is here. So Sophia, Elizabeth also. Present. Wendy. Wendy Paola. And so Wendy early. Okay, but sure. Present, yes, there you are. Siomara. And Present, teacher. Yes. And Jen. Jenny Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, then uh for tomorrow, don't forget to to read and study for the quiz. And we are going to check the four parts of the test. It has a, a reading, listening, and then a part of grammar. Okay, people, so have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Enjoy your rest of the night. Okay, bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Good night.